Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty and I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message. Um, during this video, I'm going to answer the question of who is buying and who is selling despite what's happening with the coronavirus. Um, I'm shooting this video April 25th, 2020, which means we're somewhere about uh, seven to eight weeks into when the lockdown took place or some sort of lockdown, just in essence, less people buying, less people selling, less people leaving their house and understandably so. It's really quite interesting that almost every single day people are asking me, are people still buying? Are people still selling? Hasn't the market frozen? And the answer is absolutely not. There are still sales, somewhere about 40 to 50% as many sales as prior. And in most areas, the values have not dropped too significantly with the exception of some areas in some particular style of homes. So let's let this video be our guide. We're going to go over some advantages for a buyer and some advantages for a seller. First, to answer the question of who is buying in this market, point number one would be people who have already sold their home. As we look at January and February, there were a lot of transactions far more than January and February of 2019. So these sellers from January and February who are moving out of their homes, maybe in April, May, and June, they have to find a home, they have to find some sort of housing. And the second group of buyer would be first time buyers that are looking to take advantage of the low interest rates. What so is when a first time buyer gets a pre-approval from their mortgage broker, very often it has an expiration date as far as how long it's valid for. So there may be deadlines on it. They may just be in fear that if they do choose to buy sometime in the future, they may be purchasing at a higher interest rate and therefore have a lower budget. The third type of buyer would be a move up buyer. And what a move up buyer is, is somebody that is selling their home to purchase something which is more expensive. Naturally, if the prices were to drop, assuming that every style of property and every price range drops similarly, you're better off to sell now, sell for less and buy for less in this type of market where clearly that would happen. And the fourth point would be investors, people who do have cash on the side and they've been waiting for some sort of opportunity like this in order to pick up deals, locate them and get into the market. I'm finding that myself and other productive agents whom I know are being contacted by investors every single day I'm looking at my phone all the time and seeing text messages or emails or calls saying, Mike, if you come across a deal, let me know about it. So now that we've covered who's buying in this market, let's talk about who would be selling in this market. And point number one would be people who have already bought, just like people who've already sold. If a buyer has already bought a property, they are required to go through with their commitment provided that the deal has been finalized. So what this means is unfortunately, they are the people that have to sell in this market and likely are not going to get the price that they would have gotten between January in February. Point number two and second group of people that are likely to sell their home are landlords that have problem tenants. And this is especially common given today's pandemic. What's happened is a lot of tenants and a lot of people in general are just unemployed. They're not making money. They have no income and therefore making rent is much more challenging. And a lot of tenants just are not paying rent. And due to this, Landlords don't want to deal with the headache, especially if they have a considerable amount of equity in the property and they don't want the headaches. They are just choosing to sell their homes. And this does bring up some opportunity in that rents, who knows, maybe they could stabilize, maybe come down a little bit because landlords are wanting really high quality tenants. And as well, there could be a lot of properties which come on the market being sold by investors at very good prices. And point number three, the group of people that are more likely to sell their home are investors or sellers that perceive the market will drop. If we look at prior recessions, then we know that values continuously drop month by month by month. And a lot of investors and sellers have the perception that values may be lower in a few months than what they are now. So they're much better off just selling, cashing out, being done with it. If you're considering buying or selling, I'd love to help you. It's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty. Call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. And I really appreciate your feedback. Be sure to subscribe, click the thumbs up or click the thumbs down and be sure to comment below. And hey, if you can think of anyone that may as well find this information helpful, then just forward this email to them if you're in my database and you receive the email or just copy and paste the YouTube link. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.